Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Doctor Strange, issue 18, 2023. Awesome, awesome cover there, and it fits with what's going on. This is Legacy issue number 444. I wish they had ended this at like 445, 450 at least, milestone, but this seems to be the end of... At the moment, we have not heard anything about any new creative team. This is a good conclusion here. It's just like, oh, uh, other creative teams, what not? I, I always love Doctor Strange with all the weirdness and everything that can go on with them. And we start off in memorandum, Peter B. Gillis, 1952 to 2024, made the strangest of worlds feel familiar and in turn made our familiar world strange. So let's get to this. And I really like the, the yeah, panels and everything, the circles and everything. And just the art fits for this, what's going on. Koshche uh, the Deathless. I've always been fascinated with him. A legend, a man who couldn't die. Not after he had removed his own soul and hidden it away. There's more to it than that, of course. There's myth and poetry and beauty to this story. But I am not in the mood for myth, nor poetry, nor beauty today. No. What concerns me is the heart of the story. A man who tore out his own soul to save what was important to him. My name is Dr. Stephen Strange, and I am no longer Earth's Sorcerer Supreme. And that fits because he's done this many a times himself. Walking, seeing a lot of different kind of stuff. And I like that it's very kind of blue and kind of gloomy. It really fits Strange's mood through here. No. That honor belongs to another doctor. Dr. Victor Von Doom, and I gave it to him, along with a fragment of my soul to act as anchor for the office as I once did for Clea before my death. See Blood Hunt issue 5 as we see it, and see Doom taking it in. Because I could not save the world, and he could. Not, not, not. Hmm? Who could that be? And I love seeing him using magic to get his teacup and everything like that, and his drink, and I was like, okay, who's at the door? Hello? Wait. Yeah, this was how I died the last time, as we see Baron Mordo appear. I need to be more careful. Who? Show yourself. Now more than ever, gladly, look upon your death, Strange. It's like, oh, fuck you, Mordo. Mordo, do not do this, I beg of you. Begging? Are you reduced to begging already? I thought at least some of the confidence of the Sorcerer Supreme would still remain. And I love this. He pretty much throws this green magic blast, and the Strange blasts through it with his yellow. I was your better before I ever wore the cloak and, uh, and the eye. I beg on your behalf, Mordo. On my behalf, speak sense strange. As he then flings pretty much a, like, magic axe at him. Hear sense, Mordo, as Clea catches it. Steven is not afraid to do battle with you. A battle he would win, as he always has, Sorcerer Supreme or not. What he does fear is that he no longer has the power to assure your safety in such a contest. It's like... Ooh, shit. She is bringing up important stuff there. My husband does not wish to kill you, Mordo. Not like I do, having had my sleep so rudely interrupted. Ah, Clea, I had thought... I hadn't thought you still in residence. It's like, ooh, you dumb bastard. You thought she'd be gone. Evidently. You thought my wife would leave me the moment I was no longer Sorcerer Supreme, didn't you, Mordo? Feh. If she has not yet, she will, Strange. Of course, trying to plant the seed of doubt, since he can't win through actual contest of his own strength. The vault team placed no value on weakness. When you see the love in her eyes turn to pity, you will ask her to leave. And then that look on both of their faces, it's like, ah, oh, God. Stephen, I know there's no truth in his words. It is merely Mordo being Mordo. Exactly. I must confer with the Vishanti. If there's any chance to put this to rights. And then we have the nice circle showing Clea's face. Then I must take it. There's nothing to be done, Stephen Strange. You made Victor Von Doom Sorcerer Supreme. Not the wisest choice, it could be argued, but it did save your world. And these guys are just... Oh my god. I had no choice. People died every moment I argued with them. But Victor Von Doom is a grasping, autocratic, glory-hungry tyrant who's unsuited to the office of Stephen Strange. His foibles are of no importance. Doom is now Sorcerer Supreme, and he has begun his tenure by saving your world. An auspicious start. At what cost, fuckhead? We will not intervene on your behalf. This is because I defied you. Because I refused to kill General Strange for you. This audience is over, Stephen Strange. It's like, oh, fuck you guys. 
And I love the... I love it looking like an eye there. It was strange in the center. That's just cool. Wand Mobile HQ, Athena. Thank you for taking Donna today, Wong. Steven is not fit company for a child. Not today. It's no trouble, Clea. Truly. He has lost the mantle before. Bah! Donna, come down from there! Hmm, perhaps some sort of tractor beam. It's like, Z <laughs> As they're trying to take care of the kid, it's like, nice. But to Doom, it is his worst nightmare. Very true. And that is a valid worst nightmare. Is he still communing with the Vashanti? No. I don't know where he's gone. But if I had to guess, the Latvian Dome. Victor! As he's pretty much trying to bash his way in. It's like, yeah. First, you cheat me with the world at stake. Then you raise a dome over Latveria and hide behind it. First a liar, and then, uh, then a coward, as we see his glowing fists. You gave me your word, Victor. Your word. Whatever else you were, I always thought you had some measure of honor. Fool, more fool me. Because, do you know what I think, Victor? What I believe now? That you knew. And seeing Strange's anger here, it makes sense. You had to. You were prepared for the blood hunt. You had all the answers. You merely had to wait until we came to you for help. As he's smashing and breaking his hands against the dome. Help that you would supply. At a cost that could not be negotiated. You didn't think... I don't think you set the blood hunt in motion. I don't believe you set Varney on his path of destruction. But I believe that you knew. That you let it happen. You let thousands die. Because it suited your purpose. Because it got you what you wanted. The mantle of the Sorcerer Supreme. Gods damn you, Victor. Gods damn you for the lives you sacrificed upon the altar of your vanity. You could have stopped it. As we see it as... I've, I love the circular there but you did it and strange is right to call that up again more cool ass i love the page layouts and now the world looks to you the sorcerer supreme to protect it and so i must bring all my weapons to bear on you general i would speak with you a moment of course doctor please come in as general oh as we see that Strange was going to go and ask the General for help against Victor. But we see that the General looks so awesome and healthy and better now. Doctor, your hands. In good time, General, but what have you wrought? Uh, Kobolorum and I have been working at creating a world together. It's exquisite, General. But I have other matters to speak on you with. I can feel myself becoming human again, Doctor. For so long I was a ghost, a thing made holy of anger and violence and guilt. But with Kobolorum, I can create instead of destroy. And that's an important aspect. To be able to create things. To let your imagination flow. To do those kind of things. Even to just make weird videos talking about interesting things. I totally get for him. It's all fantasy, of course. But creating fantasies is a welcome change from blood and death and war. Exactly. But I forget myself. What did you want to speak to me about? It's been some time since I've uh, seen you. What news? I... And then we see Strange just doing the right thing. Nothing, General. I merely wish to see how you and Kobolorum were getting on. Do you have time to see our gardens, Doctor? I was inspired by my memories of our time spent in Icon. Do you remember it? I do indeed, General. The colors, Doctor. I believe that Kobolorum and I have made a reasonable approximation of them. And I just love that. It's like, yes, there's shit going on in the world. But he stays there. Later. God damn these useless hands. There you are. Where have... Oh, Steve, in your hands. Let me cast a spell. No. No magic, please. Just help me to bind them, please. And she does. I... The strongest part is I love their relationship here. It... This run really got me to understanding their relationship. Because uh, up until this point, I've known them being pretty much linked together. But this really showed them sticking with each other and having their problems and issues, but working with uh, through them together and just staying together so well. I was so angry, Clea. I know, my love. Doom playing us false on top of everything we went through during the blood hunt. No, you don't understand. I was so angry that I was going to lose General Strange upon Doom. It would have been easy. He and I began as the same man. I knew exactly what I would do to undo all the work we had done to make him better, to make him my warhound. And I'm glad that he acknowledges this, but that he didn't do it. I'd even made myself believe that it was right. I was going to do it. But then I saw how happy he had become. He didn't know about the blood hunt. 
He didn't know that I had lost my mantle. He was just a badly tortured soul who had been allowed to create things other than horrors for the first time in, a th in thousands of years. And I was going to make of him a weapon. And I loved the frustration there that he was going to do this. That was a terrible thing you were going to do, Stephen. And I love her look. Like, yes, that, was, that would be horrendous. But you did not do it because you were a good man. Exactly. And then that pause there. That seemed to like, just that panel to like, absorb that. I'm trying to be. But my failure weighs heavily upon me, Clea. And I, I get that. I get that kind of failure. Now, have I given Dr. Doom the title of Sorcerer Supreme? No. But sometimes there are big, weighty failures that are on you. And the thing is, you have to have the... Uh, there's like accepting it and trying to move on, but you have to have the ability to move on. Doctor Doom could come at any moment and just trap Doc, uh, Doctor Strange just in that loop and keep him there forever, and then that would essentially break him just like the general. But he has Clea here. He has his friends. I know Mordo speaks only lies, but in light of recent events, if you do wish to leave, do not. Do not dare say such words to me, Stephen Strange. And I will... Even though it's small, seeing how kind of pissed she is at that. Even though it's for love, you, who so loves to hear his own voice, will now listen to me. You have been betrayed from all sides by the ghosts of your ghost of your brother, Victor Strange, by the hands of your friend, Blade, by the inactions of your patrons, the Vishanti, thank you for that call, Clea, by the word of your rival, Doom, but I will never betray you, Stephen. That's awesome. You have lost the position of Sorcerer Supreme. An insult, but one that will be redressed by us both, acting as one. Fuck yeah, baby, wanna see that shit? And I kind of love the layout there. Ah! And seeing how it kind of works out. Because I never loved the mantle, Stephen. I loved the man. Damn straight. Be he the su Sorcerer Supreme in red, or the master of black magic and blue. Ah, as we see him get... His new colors. Now granted, I am partial to red, but I kind of like the blue as well. As he gets like a new eye floating, new cloak. It's true, you know, I do enjoy hearing myself speak. <laughs> you are lucky that I do too. And that's just adorable there, and I love it. Your world still needs you, Stephen. Sorcerer Supreme or not. Exactly. But now more than ever, I cannot do it alone, my love. Now more than ever, you don't have to. And that is where we end. And give the end and the signature, and I'm just like, yes. And then we get a thing read, uh, written by uh, Jen McKay from uh, June 2024, Nova Scotia, talking about his uh, time writing with Doctor Strange and everything like that, and how Strange is like his own kind of outsider in Marvel, uh, that he's like someone who defies modernization, with, like the charm of best parts of a bygone era and all of that. I'm like, yeah, cool. And bringing up all the people and everything that's kind of happened. And I've just really enjoyed this run. And I think this was a very, this was a really great conclusion. Uh, even though I'm like, I just, like, I don't mind that it's end, like, that the run's ending. I'm just like, we're strange. We, we need more. There's more, like, especially with how this ends. I'm like, and Doctor Doom and everything like that as the Sorcerer Supreme. Come on, people. There's got to be some good stuff. But I really enjoyed this because I like the examination of what has fallen out from Blood Hunt. Strange uh, being just trying to talk to the Vashanti and them just being like, fuck you. It's like, uh, screw those patron guys. You need better people. and You might need to, like, lock their asses up because Trinity of Ashes might be douchish too. But, I mean, fuck them both. Him going to Latveria and just, like, blasting out Doom, even though he's got that dome on there and hurting his hands, and then coming to almost to the point of unleashing General Strange on him. But the thing is, our faith in Doctor Strange and Stephen Strange is rewarded because he doesn't do it. He sees the healing that has happened with General Strange and does not want to undo that. And he doesn't do it. And then he wraps up his hands because he doesn't want to use magic because <laughs> magic has been fucking him over kind of lately. And I love... Clea being like, no, you've been betrayed by all these other people. You you could have done this horrible thing, but you didn't because you're a good man. And I love you. And whether you be the Sorcerer Supreme in red or the uh, Master of Black Magic in blue, we'll get this and do this together and we'll get it redressed. And Strange acknowledges that. And it's like, yep, I can't do this alone. And 
it's a really great ending. And I really enjoy it. And uh, it gets to why I love Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange as a character, and why I actually love Clea as well. She's a tough, awesome warrior and uh, magician in her own right. And I like seeing all these different sides and how she is a Faultine, but she is not like the other Faultine. She has this hardness to her, but she has this softness as well in regards to Steven and to her sister. And I can't wait to see what goes on with Donna. And I hope that they keep that stuff going on. Donna, Bats, Clea, Strange, Wong doing Wand and everything. And there's so much coolness. And I think that a really good creative team that we just had... Uh, could do these things really well and uh, I hope we hear more information at a certain point. If it's mainly being put onto hiatus because of what they're doing with Dr. Doom or Sorcerer Supreme, I understand this. There will be other comics for me to look into, but I'm always on the lookout for Dr. Strange. And also, we're almost to Legacy Issue 450. Let's at least get that, maybe, you know? So, those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.